it's estimated that over 100,000 WhatsApp accounts are being attacked by hackers on daily basis. So what are the chances of yours being one of them? So in this video, we will go over some techniques that hackers use to hack into WhatsApp accounts and how to secure yourself from these types of attacks. Please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only. And by the way, since we are talking about an app that requires phone numbers, I have partnered with Mint Mobile for today's video. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network and they maintain a low cost by selling directly to customers online, bypassing traditional retail stores and salespeople. They are offering features like unlimited talk and text, access to 5G, speed and coverage for as low as $15 per month. Because why pay extra if you can get the same network access for way less? And Big Wireless wants you to believe that they are the solo choice for that. But switching to Mint Mobile is extremely easy. It takes roughly 15 minutes to do that. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, which most phones now have. You can easily sign up and activate it right on your phone. And if your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint Mobile will ship you a new SIM card for free. So check out the link in the description to stop overpaying for your phone plan. Alright, so hackers can use various ways to hack into your WhatsApp account. A few years ago, WhatsApp had a vulnerability in which hackers were able to obtain the target's public IP address by simply calling them. And this tool was capable of doing that. All we had to do was to follow the steps listed in here. And once these steps are done on Kali Linux, hackers would be running that tool and capturing the victim's public IP address. Now even though this vulnerability was passed by WhatsApp, you can still check out the tool and test it on devices that you have the permission to test on. And to secure your public IP address from being leaked by WhatsApp, simply open up your WhatsApp, go to settings, then go to privacy, scroll a bit down and click on advanced and make sure that the protect IP address in calls is turned on. Now phishing is one of the most common technique that hackers use to hack into a WhatsApp account. For example, hackers can send fake messages or emails that appear to be from WhatsApp support team or from a trusted contact asking you to click on a malicious link or forcing you to provide your login credentials. I have covered various phishing attack techniques on this channel. So check these videos out as well in case you haven't done so already. Another technique that hackers use is by installing malware directly on your device. That would give hackers full control over your device as well as your WhatsApp account and other sensitive data that you may have. You can check out this video on my Patreon page which shows how hackers can create an executable that completely controls the victim's device. Another famous technique that hackers use is called SIM swapping. So in this attack, hackers will collect as much information as possible about the victim. Then the hacker would contact the mobile carrier company and pretend to be the victim who is calling. The hacker would claim that they have lost their SIM card or need a new SIM card for some made up reason. Then the hacker would receive the new SIM card, they activate it and associate it with the victim's phone number. Now keep in mind that hackers may also have connections that is working inside that carrier company. So once the hacker obtains that SIM card, they can easily access the WhatsApp account along with other social media accounts as well. Since the hacker is now owning the victim's phone number, the hacker would normally have access to whatever access that phone number is registered to. It could be crypto accounts, social media accounts, emails, and the list keeps going. Another creative technique that hackers use to hack into WhatsApp accounts is by using a fake QR code. In this technique, hackers can create fake QR codes that appear to be legitimate but actually lead to malicious websites or applications. Hackers can also manipulate legitimate QR codes of WhatsApp and redirect users to malicious websites to steal the victim's WhatsApp account. This can happen if the QR code generation process or if the app interpreting the QR code itself is being hacked. Now to secure your WhatsApp account from these types of attacks, 
First, make sure that you enable two-factor authentication. This will ensure that even if a hacker obtains access of your phone number, they would still need a verification code in order to get into that account. So the only person who would know that PIN code would be you. Secondly, WhatsApp gives us the option to lock our WhatsApp with either a fingerprint or face ID for iPhones. And you can do that by going to settings, click on privacy and scroll a bit down until you see screen lock click on that and make sure that feature is enabled so this will prevent anyone from accessing your whatsapp account in case your smartphone falls into the wrong hands and probably the most obvious method to secure your whatsapp account is not to fall into a phishing attack so stay away from clicking on random links scanning random qr codes installing or downloading random files because that may be malicious so that's it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and learned something useful from it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this